is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about a robot that I've been working on that uses a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino, and some other fun stuff here. Got some cameras, and it's a walking robot. It has four legs. I uh, call it my spider dog robot because it's a dog because it's got four legs, but it, they're really spindly legs, and uh, looks like a spider. It looks like the creepiest thing you've ever seen. <clears throat> so let's take a little tour of this guy. <clears throat> So, <clears throat> here we go. So, there's a little camera on the front of it. And uh, this, this robot's actually remote controlled. Right now I'm running it tethered, but it was actually designed to run with lithium batteries, about eight of them. <clears throat> and uh, it's controlled through Wi Fi. Gives you a picture that's updated about every second. And bunch of buttons you can click on to make it do different things and I have different pages to control the camera. We have servos to down here to lift the camera up and down. Servo at the top to turn the camera back and forth. The, the uh, robot actually walks with only two servos. It has a servo in the front to move the legs back and forth and a servo in the back to move the back legs. I don't know if you can see the back legs. There we go. And just by phasing how these servos are oscillated back and forth in time. You have to phase them 90 degrees out of phase and I don't know if you can see but the body of the robot is bent on an angle like this. The front is angled like that, the back is angled <coughs> upward and so by doing that and the, having the servos walk at different times the robot will actually walk forward. <coughs> so right here in the body of the robot we have a Raspberry Pi with all the blinking lights and there's a little Wi-Fi dongle on that okay and uh, then up here we, the Raspberry Pi actually sends commands to the uh, Arduino over USB it has a USB cable so the Raspberry Pi is the master and the Arduino here is the slave and it's used to uh, control the servos. So we have four servos on this robot, two for the legs to walk it, and two for the head. <coughs> we have a camera here, a Logitech, I believe, which is one of the ones that's compatible with Linux because we're running Linux in the Raspberry Pi. And <coughs> right now I'm running it actually tethered. I have a regulated power supply, but I found out that if the servos run into some kind of problem, they start to draw a lot of current, what will happen is, is that they will cause the computer to crash and then it takes several minutes for it to reboot so that's a problem <coughs> so uh, if you can see here we can uh, click on the different buttons over here we want to go camera right we can click on camera right And uh, this is actually a revised software. I had to rebuild the software. And I tried to do some improvements to the walking, and it actually wasn't improvements. It was un uh, worse. And so I had to <coughs> undo the improvements that I did to get the thing operational again. Oh, there we go. So it's running a little bit slow. And you can see the robot is looking at me, and it's updating. Sometimes it has a little bit of a lag. <coughs> so we could send this robot on missions, have it look around, take pictures, talk back to us wirelessly. Sometimes it hangs up. I'm still working on this software. This, this was written in uh, PHP and HTML and of course uh, under Linux. And okay there we go. So you know, it, it updates and it's a pretty neat program, pretty neat robot. And uh, I'm still rebuilding the legs. It, before it was walking pretty good, but I changed the legs. I, I tried to put pulleys on them instead of. Right now they have. Uh, this is what worked the best for me is these mechanical actuators with springs on them. I don't know if you can see that. And I think I had shorter legs because what happens is, is if with this kind of walking robot if the body flexes at all then it, it makes it so it doesn't walk very well it, everything needs to be very rigid so let's uh, take a look more around this thing so I put, put longer legs on it because I thought it would look cooler 
but they seem to be flexing too much so it doesn't really walk too well and like I said right now I'm running it on a tethered power supply from a computer power supply way over here you can run a long cable to that but it actually was designed originally to run on batteries and it could run on batteries you just need to somehow isolate the power supply of the the uh, so anyway the power supply from the uh, servos really needs to be isolated from the CPU because the CPU needs a very stable voltage or else it crashes and it takes several minutes to boot up now I'm still working on getting the legs walking again I think I'm gonna have to make the legs shorter and I think I modified the body see maybe you can see the V in the body here I modified the body and the positions of the servos to take the longer legs <coughs> and so I may have to remodify it to uh, take the shorter legs again because it seemed like it was walking much better with the shorter legs and I don't have these tuned up in the right position I just have the servos loose right now because I don't know in, in, in standby position the, the, they're 90 degrees out of phase and so I'm not sure if I have them right but you know what the heck let's uh let's just command this thing to move forward All right so we will click on move forward and see what our guy does it's been a while since I've tried running him but he probably needs some engineering renovations he's thinking about it you can tell he's still alive because the uh, green light on the eye is only lit up oh. here we go He's walking. Oh, servos. servos are caught up and he crashed. He died. So I must not have had the, the legs in the right position. So we'll have to readjust them some more. The servo stalled out. Now I'm going to unplug him before it ruins something. So we're going to work on this guy some more, but there it is. There's the monster. Spider Dog Robot. Okay.